JD the Artsy Mouse, and welcome back to Brindal's Main Story! Back to Chapter 7, where we find out what the flip is going on with Rendal. Why does he hate- why does he hate Yui's clan? Why- uh, what does he have against the house of Tasuki? And is Yui now gonna get away in time before Rendal finds her? Raiding the Sumo Village? Stalling us? No. More importantly, Rendell wants to kill me? Just then the door opens, and Rendell comes back into the room. Oh, you mean Rendell opens his eyes open, and I realize that everything I've just heard was the truth. I want to ask him so many things, but I can't seem to put words together. Oh, you mean did you? I'm sorry. I bite my lips and dash out of the room. What did he mean, right? This in the village. Kitan, she right. Shiraya are both very attached to Rindal, and Rindal cares a lot about them too. What's the grudge of his clan? What does it have to do with me dying? If I die, then the grudge will be gone. What does that mean? More, no, more importantly, Vanetta said Rindal wanted to kill me. I was never really like a sister to him, but he actually hated me all along. He hated me enough to kill me? He hated me enough to want to kill me? Crushed by helplessness, I ran through the town at night until I found a forest outside the village. <laughs> Breathing hard, I look around. This forest, I've been here before. Oh! Right, it's the forest that was my dream! So then, maybe the place that I came when I was a child was in the autumn village. And the person that I met with... I thought that... I'm taken by the mass bizarre dizziness and the most severe dizziness I've ever felt before. And then, I lose consciousness. as soon as you wake up, is it? We're so worried about you, right, guys? She can't help it, Ren. She loves Rendell, after all. And they do see people are more honest when they're weak. Sorry. I put my hands on my feverish cheeks and bow my head to the three of them. Thanks, you guys. Do you remember what happened? Um, I remember going to a forest outside the village. You fainted in the forest, and Rendell found you. Huh? Rendell found me? Rendell's face when he brought you here looked like that of a lost puppy. That was the person who seen Mr. Ren look like that. Yeah. Oh, you mean, did something happen with you two? That's right, I ran away from those meetings, but... I... I have to find the truth. I can't just leave things like this. I can't go on being sad forever. Next time, I have to get Rand out to tell me everything he's thinking. Squeeze my blanket tight and make my mind up. And make up my mind. I'm afraid to ask him what the truth is. But I need to hear it from him. Just as the thoughts are running deep through my head, the door quietly opens. I go up upon seeing who it is. Rinda, you woke up. <sighs>
You'd only just gotten better. And you had to go past that again. You're too thoughtless. Was it not you that made me run away like that? Well, I guess you're right. My dad shreds his shelters and keeps you from. What is going on? We just had a little fight. What did you mean about the autumn village raiding the summer village? Oh, you mean a what did you just say? A raid? On the summer village? Huh? What's that supposed to mean? The three of them are shocked. I tell them what I heard Renda on the ninja say. Most of, most of all, I have to ask him about him wanting to kill me. But if I ask him that now, this conversation will never get anywhere. I decided not to bring the last thing that I heard say. I heard him say that Rendell wanted to kill me. The three men are worked up and glaring at Rendell. Not to be outdone, I glare furiously at him too. Let's talk about this somewhere else. Rendell's grin as he makes the suggestion makes me feel uneasy. Rendell takes me to the forest outside the village. Rendell then faces us and smiles softly. So, what do you ask me? Everything. Everything. I answer him flat out and Rendell smiles somewhat. Looks somewhat You're a greedy girl. Tell me already, what do you mean by raiding the, sum the summer village? Just what are you planning on doing? You're not planning this by yourself, are you? I assume my father is involved too. Fine, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. So stop glaring at me like you're all gonna eat me up alive. Well... Whoa! Holy cow! <laughs> Holy moly! I made some brilliant choices! Kikyo, explain to Ayumino the history of this village. The history? Lord Gayu and Lord Benki, who were retainers of Lord Ayumino the First and Lord Yoshitsune, Minamoto created this village. So in other words, it was Rendell's and Kikyo's ancestors who were the founders, right? You don't need to explain any, any of that to me. You're right. Starting from a long time ago, the Autumn Village has felt inferior to the other villages. Any ideas why? Inferior? It's because Binko and Goya weren't ninjas. The other villages were created by the other villages were created by ninjas, but the Autumn Village wasn't. It was also said to be the weakest village in terms of its relationships with the neighboring villages, as well as the amount of influence, as well as the amount of influence it had. Or anyway, that's what people used to think, not me. Neither do I. The Autumn Village is certainly not inferior to the other villages. We don't think so either. Yeah, the Autumn Village actually developed the fastest, and it's still flourishing. But people in the past didn't think that way. So, as its sense of inferiority got stronger, they started to form a diverse in ideology. They didn't actually exist as formal organizations, but we named their two, their two ideologies as such. The Gaiyu Faction and the Bunkai Faction. The Bunkai Faction. Kikyo mutters and Rendell nods. The Goyo function thinks that their village is the best and should represent Yamato Island. The Bunkai function uses violence and plans to get revenge on the other villages. They want to cause chaos on the island. The raid I was talking about is the Goyo's function's first step to unify a Yamato Island. But that's crazy to think this island should be governed by one village! Do you want that to happen, Rendell? No, I don't. I'm a descendant of Binkai, so... I guess I'm in the thing I function, but I don't care about getting revenge on the other villages. I was just helping the chieftain. Helping the chieftain? Why would he plan with why would he help him with this sort of crazy plan? That's why I was told to make sure we purified the autumn village before going to the autumn village. I was reporting everything to them so they could make their preparations. That suddenly reminds me of what happened in the Lunar Village. That's right. That's who he was writing to, huh? Writing to through the carrier pigeon. It was about this plan. So by tricking us, he meant not letting us find out about the plan for the Sun Village. Keeping us in the dark so that he could manipulate our course. You such a plan, Mr. Rand. Mr. Rand... Rand's right. If you aren't interested in the Autumn Island unifying the island, unify the Autumn Village unifying the island, then there should be no there should be no need to help him. 
So then why? It's true that I wasn't interested in the plan itself. I just helped so that I could achieve my own goal. Your own goal? And what would that be? It was me. Your goal. It was to kill me. My voice was so calm, I surprised even myself. I spoke emotionlessly and looked straight up at Rindell. Yes. After Rindell solemnly confirms my suspicion. His expression looks somewhat sad, and just looking at him makes my heart ache. If he says yes, then why does he look so sad about it? Did you say kill? You mean What is that supposed to mean? Just say that! You've got to be kidding us. Rendal! The three men start to surround Rendal, but I stop them with my hand. I ask him, confused. Why do you want to kill me? Is it to save the Yamato Island? It's to prevent their plan. But you don't care about me, right? Even if you did kill me, that wouldn't save the island. Even though I'm the one saying it this time, I feel my words piercing my heart. Uh, this feels too good to pass up. Um... I squeeze my chest, gather my strength, and continue. So why would you want to kill me? Do you really hate me that much? If I didn't care about you, then I wouldn't kill you either. What? I couldn't quite make out the words he had quietly muttered. What did you just, at the same moment, cold light gleamed in his eyes? Ayumi, now listen to me. There are some things in the world that you're better off not knowing. Rinda has spits. Rinda spits out those words, then suddenly grabs his Nagitash... Nagitata's sword. Rindal! Hey, Mr. Rin, what do you think you're doing? Are you drawing a weather at us? Rindal glares at the three men as they shout, but he just grins. You poor girl, Ayumina. Or should I say Lucky? Huh? You stick your nose in other people's business and find out things you're not supposed to know. And now because of that, you're going to be killed by me, the man you love. Rinda's smile is terrifying, like that of a demon. I can't see one. I can't see one ounce of the usual kindness in his face. So he doesn't really hate me. He really wants to kill me that bad. The strong hands of his that stroke my hair, the kind smile on his face, the gentle way he spoke my name, and his kisses from last night. Is all that just to get me to let my guard down? You jerk! If you want to kill I'm disappointed in you, Rendell. You know that Ayumino truly loves you. Ren and Ayu draw their weapons. Rendell. Kikyo also takes out his weapon, but his eyes swim with hesitation. I suddenly... I settle my ragged breathing. Silently, Rendell. You won't tell me? What? You still have... You haven't told me the most important part. Tell me, the reason why you want to kill me. I don't need to tell anything to someone I'm about to kill. I won't die until you tell me. If you're going to turn your sword at us, then I accept your challenge. With a shout, I unsheath my sword. Though I really don't want to do it, I point the sword at Rendell. I'll do anything it takes to get you to tell me. <laughs> then try your best, Ayumina. I can't die feeling like this. So I'll have to stop Rindal himself. I'll have to stop Rindal myself. What's coming up next? Ayumina and the ninjas kind of are angry when Rindal reveals his purpose to them. Having faith in Rindal, she decides to fight him. Ayumina's love going to reach him, and his past will finally be revealed. Hey, Mister, are you alright? Are you lonely? Not really. 
Efforts are finally bearing fruit. It's been a long way. Mr. Wren, do you realize how much we've been worried about you? We've been worrying about you. Am I bad? We'll have a good talk with you, Yumino. You'll have a good talk with you, Yumino, won't you? Of course I will. Hey guys! Do you think that little girl is a Yumino? All you think, all you talk about is a Yumino! This is my story, you know, Kikyu! I bet she is! She's so cute! Let's go to the next chapter to find all the answers. With a plate! Show a little more interest in me! Too, will ya? <laughs> that was that was nice. After a serious battle like that, you kind of need something a little lighthearted to settle the mood. Bring it on, dare you me now? Be in this fight, then I'll tell you everything. What I am really thinking, how I feel about you, and all that stuff. Bring it on and fight me with all you've got. Thinking of you, thinking of you dearly, Rin. Rin down. Pardon me. Well. <laughs> Wow, holy cow. I didn't think I would get that far. Holy cow. I didn't think I would make, I didn't think the choices I would make would get this many points. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.